Minister Evelyn Anite has urged domestic investors to enhance their production standards and expand their markets beyond the East African community. So don't only look at expo exporting your product in Rwanda, Tanzania, Kenya, uh, East African market, in other words, take your product to US, to Europe, because Ugandans who are living in the diaspora want your product. Domestic investors are calling for more favorable billings and taxation policies. Actually do not qualify for these uh, tax incentives because beauty and personal care was not listed, Honorable Minister. And the fact that policies are being run without our involvement, Honorable Minister, is the NDA bill where we are being requested to start treating beauty and personal care products as drugs, Honorable Minister. This is not done in any part of Africa. Everywhere that it has even been tried, they have run back quickly to understand that cosmetics, beauty and personal care products are goods. That is why at the moment we actually sit with the Ministry of Trade. But now this change would mean that we are going to be treated as drugs. It would mean that distribution, it would mean manufacturing. Everything changes completely. We are currently in 10 countries. We plan to cover the rest in 10 years. That's the plan. And we have already mapped up the entire Africa on how we are going to tackle each and every country. As Movit, we are very good at innovation. And also, we do a thorough research to make sure that we service our customer to answer their needs. The government has committed to supporting local businesses with favorable incentives and market linkages to boost production. To discuss the regional integration, but among them we also discuss the tariff barriers. So within the community, we have the same taxes. But when we go into implementation, we have those hiccups that we do interface. But that does not mean that they are disregarding completely what we, the protocols that we have signed. So. When we face that hiccup, we unlock them. Despite the crucial role of local investments in Uganda's economic development, domestic investors continue to face challenges navigating stringent procurement policies. Komagum Rogers for UBC.